Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel 2014 Prius V I finally finished the head gasket job Anxious Start it up Hear the perfectly running engine And enjoy the fruits of the labor So I grabbed the remote Right. Set on the vehicle. Push the start button. Nothing. This is a smart electronic key, so it can be in the that area there. It doesn't matter. You don't put it anywhere inside. Like on the old Priuses, this is smart electronic key. It should be hooked to the vehicle. But when I stepped on the brake and pushed the start button uh, in the dash all the way to the right hand side there was a no key there was a orange no key symbol so I look I grab this I'm like okay let's see the red LED right here the little indicator if it's going on now you see it's absolutely dead so I know it's cold the vehicle was here for one week or including the weekend it was over the weekend so it was here five six seven days obviously before i will release it to the customer i'm charging the aux battery there is a little maintainer charger again because it was sitting and it's cold outside it's winter but now we have a problem with this and i cannot start the vehicle there is an emergency starting procedure which maybe we should film in different video but right now I want to show you how it's easy to replace the battery in this Toyota electronic key. They call it electronic key, not a key fob. They say electronic key and we will be also removing the manual key. So let's get it started. So maybe this will be good environment to film it. So you start with removing of the mechanical key. which can be used in emergency when this doesn't work to open the vehicle and it says right here right too close it says push so if you push here on the left side you don't need a special tool or anything I should be able to remove a mechanical key and sure enough it's coming out so it was the first step the next step is having this side up and there is a notch right here which was covered by that key, right? That's why we had to remove it. So in that notch, I will put flat screwdriver and carefully separate these two parts. It will pop from each other. So let's see if it's true and how much effort it's needed. Sorry for that noise, I cannot do anything. It's a workers on the street. And they are cutting the street and doing, I think, some piping or something so that's all what we get today so now I have these two parts and we will replace the battery so I will go ahead I don't need to pry on anything with a with a screwdriver just your nail is okay and is it saying CR 1632 energizer plus goes up just note the plus and the battery goes up so now we have it and the battery is held by like a three tabs the smallest one is here and two and three so to get it easiest way without damaging anything the best is pry from here if you look on the orientation and location of my screwdriver it's right here and it's very easy and it nicely pop out this is the I start I will say depleted battery and we need to bring a new one and put it in now we are all mechanical geeks Toyota geeks do you think we will go and throw away the battery or recycle it without finding out what is the voltage how come it doesn't want to work right we just don't do things easy way 
some multimeter on the volts and let's see what made it fail uh, negative is the bottom we know the plus the positive is on the top where the logo is so how much juice is left in the depleted battery which if you read the new one or whatever the the logo it's a 3 volt and we have 2.56 it's cold so it's actually keep rising that's that's funny right because it's cold 2.59 whatever it might go up but it's a 3 volt battery and we will measure the new one and you will see that huge difference and this is what I have for this vehicle for this owner I actually really like this lithium energizers I think they last a long time also when they sit on the shelf when you have them in the stock they don't lose the voltage they really hold I compare it with the other one the black and orange brand I have the batteries for my electronic torque wrenches and so on and the ener energizers the white and blue company which I have here in this what is it double A's or triple A's what I put in the torque wrenches they hold the voltage better if they sit right in my toolbox for like a year because I buy it in the bulk when I compare it the voltage when I'm trying to use it is actually higher on these white and blues but it's not scientific comparison for you that's what I discovered for myself aha this is the baby proof so this will take half an hour to get it out okay all these companies has to comply with these laws it has to be packed that the baby cannot swallow it and choke on it right which makes sense but that's why it's always so difficult to get in this and look the filming guards came down on us the noise on the street finished I just switched off the huge truck so and again we will not just put it in we will first measure that new energizer what's the voltage so what is it what's the 3 volt battery right new 3 volt battery yep my friend do you see it 3.24 so you see a huge difference in the voltage and basically I can tell you from my experience these remotes they will fail somewhere around where it's coming towards to 3 volts right so public some uneducated people might think oh 3 volt battery when it's brand new it has a 3 volts no it's not true normally when you open it and it's warm it's like 3.3 and when it goes down to the 3 volts then it's basically when it's failing that's not enough so whatever we know that so I will start this way I will try to sweep it underneath these two tabs this is very very fragile stuff you have to be careful with it obviously right this is not something um, you can be rough with I'm treating it very very carefully so I put it back here now I will just confirm everything is in correct order I see the switches the miniature switches this is the panic this is open close so I have it correct and I'm putting it together the opposite way right I will put it together on the top and then I will be pushing it on on it down here I'll get it. It clicked. Let's see if that red diode will do anything, right? If it's visible to the camera. Oh, it was visible to my eye. I was looking on the side. Do you see it? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can hear the car. Uh, it's already screaming because I pushed the close. And there is the back open, right? Still charging. So let's do this one. Up, oh, yeah. Two beeps. And the car is open so that fail guys that fail just sitting here like a five days in the cold weather it was on my table and it was enough for it to fail I'm pretty sure the owner will be thankful I will explain to him everything what was done on the vehicle I always do extra work when I do these hair gaskets 
uh, because uh, actually there needs to be the intake cleaning and um, EGR cleaning and I replace power plugs, blah blah blah, a lot of stuff. So this is about the remote, you can see it's perfectly working. I can put back his clip, whatever, ring, no, not a clip, he had it uh, with this ring, I don't want to forget. Do you want to see if I did a good job and fixed that Prius correctly? I'm sure you want to see. I still have it on the lift because the shield underneath is not there. I want to see if it's not leaking right when you start it up. The half of the engine was gone. All the cooling, everything was disconnected. So it's a smart key as we said. It can stay there, that's how it came. Foot on the brake. Look at it. Alright. It's ready. And it will start by itself or I can step on the throttle. I will also erase the maintenance required part of this job. Oh yeah! I didn't touch anything. And look how it's perfectly running. Before it was kicking and knocking and banging and schmanging and it was getting all crazy. So as I reported you, 162,000 miles. The vehicle doesn't shake whatsoever. Right? It's absolutely steady. I got lucky. Thank you for crossing your fingers for me. I know you do. You are big fans. Oh, my hairdo is awesome. Look at it. So, thank you for being big fans. I appreciate it big time. Thank you for all your continuing support. Uh, when I was moving and so on. And I'm trying to show you as much as I can uh, with my schedule. I have only one more car waiting outside, so that's fine. That's why I can film this for you. Look at it. Look at that. It's running more, right? Because it was sitting. That is very typical. It will shut off probably soon. But it's running perfect. I got lucky. So I said I will lift it up, look under, check. Only after that I will put the shields back and go for a longer test drive. I already erased the codes, but I will recheck the codes before I will turn it back to the customer. So first I will still spend like hour on it. It takes time. But only after that I will be returning it back and see it's, it was done perfectly. I didn't mess up the timing chain. You have to be very careful with that. Everything is done good. You hear that, right? absolutely perfect like a Swiss watch so thank you for watching and have a great day my friend